There is a hair. Oh, wow. I'm looking rough. <laughs> I've been trying to decide if the hat makes it better or if that's just weird. If you missed yesterday's video, I've got some skin cancer cut out of my head, so that's what all of this is about. Today, it feels like somebody hit me over the head with a hammer. Thankfully, Kara's powered through all the driving, and we have made it to Columbus, Ohio. And, um, it has rained all day. Has not <laughs> stopped. We were so close to making it to where we were going to stop for the night and they just shut down the entire road. Those are the trucks that shut us down. They pulled out three cars in front of us. We were so close to making it through. It's um, 10.30. I think they're building a bridge in front of us. How you doing? I feel like I'm just kind of in a daze at this point. I guess I might as well go pee while we're stopped. That is one pro to living in a van. Why would you turn the light on? <laughs> oh my gosh, we're going! <laughs> Get out of the bathroom, we're going! <laughs> okay, I'm driving, I'm driving. <laughs> well, I had to. They only shut it down for like 20 minutes. <laughs> hours ago we left Nashville and drove all the way almost to the Canadian border which has been closed to non-essential travel for the last 16 months but in August we will be opening non-essential travel to Americans who've been fully vaccinated as long as you have a negative PCR COVID test within the last 72 hours. So yesterday after Nate's surgery, he had to go straight to the drive through pharmacy to get his swab stuck up his nose. First drive through COVID test. Oh! oh, you did good. I can't even see the swab anymore. I made myself cry, so I think I did it right. Let's make it cry. <laughs> Time for you to cry. <laughs> I've already had enough torture today though. I had my head cut open. Nice. Oh, I can't see you crying. <laughs> That is the most fun COVID test I've had. <laughs> so PCR results take a little longer to get back and I just now got it in my email, but I've been a little nervous to click on it. If it is positive, it's gonna be a long drive home. I'm scared. Oh my gosh, mine says I'm positive. You're joking. Don't do that, Nate. You just made my heart hurt. <laughs> negative. Mine's negative too. We're going to Canada. We're Going to Canada. Right now, I'm more excited about sleeping. Ready for this? No, but yes, I'm ready to get this thing off. I've always wanted to be a nurse. Oh, it feels so good. This has to be a thousand times better than taking your bra off at the end of the day. Are my eyebrows still level? <laughs> yes. Are they for real? It actually looks like your head is tighter. I feel like I can really see it like here. Do I look five years younger? No, no one. <laughs> we'll ever know. What? There's a bee. This morning we have about an hour drive to the largest waterfall in North America. Should be a great day. Cheers. To my head feeling normal again. Mm -hmm. I just know I'm going to bang the top of my head on something in the van oh. and it is going to hurt so bad. <laughs> Real quick, I want to say a big thank you to Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video. When we first started on YouTube six years ago, we had no idea what we were doing, especially when it came to the music we were putting in our videos. Finding good songs was a constant struggle. I wasted so much time messaging all of these artists, asking for permission to use their music, downloading random songs that I found on the internet, and it would work for a while, but then one of those artists would sign with a label and boom, our video would get demonetized. Felt like it happened every single week. One of our videos even got completely muted. 
Which is so sad because it was a really fun day. So one day I was complaining about it to a friend and she was like, have you ever heard of Epidemic Sound? I literally made an account that day because I was so desperate. And I can honestly say I have used their music in every single video ever since. Pretty crazy. No more copyright infringements. And not only that, I'm pretty picky about the sounds that I use in our videos, but Epidemic Sound always has what I'm looking for. So if you're creating videos, look no further than Epidemic Sound. Trust me. You can sign up today for a 30-day free trial by using the link in our description. Oh my gosh, you can see the mist. That's so crazy. And it's not raining. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it's too much. it just started raining again. The plan for today is to do the super touristy thing and get on the boat that takes us to the falls. Where they give you a poncho and you get all wet anyway, so yeah, it's the perfect day for it to rain. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Can we get a ticket for two? Fine there, please. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, there you go. You look like George Bush trying to put on a poncho. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, the house. Right there at the front. Hey, I'm ready. Oh, that's so cool. I feel like I just walked onto the set of that old Jim Carrey movie. Why do you think I didn't get the anchor job? Hey man, I don't want any problems. I don't want I actually watched that scene last night when we were thinking about booking these tickets and I was laughing so hard it felt like the stitches in my head were ripping apart. <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure something out here. So the first ever voyage of the Maid of the Mist was in 1846 and 175 years later they changed from the original steamboat to a fully electric catamaran. This boat that we're on right now is 100% electric and completely silent. And you know how we like our silent boats. <laughs> Niagara Falls is actually not just one waterfall. It consists of three falls. I think this is American Falls, Bridalville Falls, and then Horseshoe Falls. I expected it to be wet, but not this windy. Whatever you're seeing in the camera is about what I can see in real life right now. This poncho is not. <laughs> we are pretty much inside Niagara Falls right now. Wow! <laughs> what an experience. Niagara Falls! Woo! They did a lot more traveling than I did before we got married. This is the first time that we're doing something that I've done before and Nate hasn't. I came here with my family in like sixth grade and actually took the Maid of the Mist boat. I don't remember it being this exciting though. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> that was great. Wow. <laughs> How am I so bad at wearing a blood too? <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, there's a rainbow. You see it? Wow. All right, the fight continues. When you buy a ticket to go on the ferry, you also get access to a hiking trail that goes right beside American Falls, and this might be wetter than the boat. Yeah, it will be. <laughs> wow. Everything on our body is wet. Pro tip. It's time to cross the border into Canada. Except on the way here, there was this sign over the road that said you need a negative COVID test and some kind of form, something that I had never heard of before. Oh, it's an app. Go Canada. 
passport. Do you have your passport? I have no idea. Do you really not know where your passport is? No. I don't know where else to look. What about the secret pocket in the back? Oh my gosh. It was in the secret pocket. <sighs> How did I let you out of my sight? That is the most like frantic panic mode I think I've ever been in. So there's this secret pocket in my backpack and I just changed backpacks for the first time in like four years. My old backpack, I always kept it in the top secret pocket, but my new backpack has this bottom secret pocket that I totally forgot about. Every time we're in the van, it lives in the safe. But since we went to Europe, <laughs> it's still panicking. It, it was still it was still in my backpack from our Europe trip in June and I almost didn't even bring that backpack on this trip. It didn't even cross my mind when we left Nashville that like we're going to a new country and I would need my passport. <sighs> that was crazy. Okay. Let's go to Canada. I have to finish filling out this form before we go to Canada. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Upload proof of vaccination. What the heck? just said we don't meet the requirements to come to Canada at this time. Oh, that was dumb. I'm going to bang the top of my head on something in the van. Let's try this again. All right, well, it's letting me continue now. So your receipt prior to boarding your flight. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go to the border and see what happens. Welcome to Canada. <gasps> We haven't technically made it over the border yet. Wow, this line is not moving at all. All right, let the waiting begin. Oh, look at the big Hershey kiss. There's the U.S. border. Nobody's trying to get in over there. <laughs> it's our turn. Oh, I'm so nervous. Hello. How's it going? Where do you both live? Uh, in Tennessee. Your COVID test. Here is hers. Here is. The purpose of your trip to Canada? We're going to see friends. Where? Two I hours <laughs> east of Toronto. How long are you coming in for? Uh, I think about a week. Where are you going to be staying while you're here? With our friends. Not in the van? Well, probably in the van at their place. I see. Been to Canada before? We have. Ever had issues coming to Canada before? No. What do you do for work in the United States? We make YouTube videos. We make YouTube videos? <laughs> any firearms, any weapons? Uh, I have... Do you own any firearms? No. So, no, sir. Carry anything for protection. Pepper spray. Wait, there, I have pepper spray and a knife. You do have pepper spray? Yeah. All right, unlock the, uh, the van. Sure. Just have a seat. Yep. Are you guys going to be working while you're here? Uh, potentially shooting a video. Nothing's planned, though. That's weird. Can you guys do travel YouTube videos? Yep. My mom was watching it. Really? <laughs> That's oh, pretty cool. cool. Okay, um, so here's the thing. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna refer you to secondary. Hello, how are you? How are you? Good. You have some pepper spray? Yes. Where is it? It's in the back. Okay. So apparently you can't bring pepper spray into Canada. Hey Siri, is pepper spray illegal in Canada? Huh. Pepper spray is considered a prohibited weapon. This says if you are caught in Canada, or going into Canada at the Canadian border with pepper spray, you could be criminally charged, prosecuted, and if convicted, face potential jail time and a criminal <laughs> What? We attempted to bring an illegal weapon <laughs> into Canada. If you're new here, we've been to 100 countries, and um, the one time we had trouble was trying to cross from the U.S. into Canada. Thank you very much. Sure. Thank you so Thank much. You. Have a good day. I feel like I now have one strike against me in mm. Canada. Roll my nose up in the window. I cannot believe that just happened. We're in Canada! Woo! I get so nervous talking to officials like that. Like he's like, where are y'all from? And I'm like, uh, <laughs> Tennessee? Here we are. There's the van. Oh my gosh. Wow, this feels weird. This does feel weird. We've been here a million times and we're finally or no, <laughs> we've seen it a million times. But we're actually here. We left Nashville 40 hours ago. We finally made it. Hello. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now. Thanks for waking up. Welcome. Oh, you guys are beyond.